Hey guys, Stefan here, the Photobook Guru, and this week I'm here to review for you the Printastic Photobooks. Quite a few of you have been asking me about my opinion on the Printastic books, and now I've finally got one in my hand and I can talk about it. And just before I say any details, I can say I'm really, really happy with the books and I was very pleasantly surprised by the high quality of it. If you don't want to watch this video to the end, I have a voucher code for you. If you use the code PBGURU25, you'll get 25% off your order and you can use that with any of their books from the Printastic app in your smartphone. So let's start with the company. Printastic is one of these new app smartphone uh, photo book creators which allows you to transform your camera or Facebook, Instagram and all these um, various forms of uh, photo collections in a very short amount of time without a lot of headache they pride themselves on such as the magic books so basically if you have loads of events in your camera roll the magic book um, feature of the of the app is going to transform each of these events and holidays into separate photo albums so you don't have to worry about that and they also have a smart photo selection algorithm so if you have 10 pictures of the same selfie and five of them are out of focus and the other five are looking much better then the app is going to automatically select the best pictures for you so you don't have to worry about it of course you have your own control over it so if you want you can choose your own images let me give you a quick look through the pictures. These are from my recent trip to Sri Lanka from the Wilpatu National Park and it's just a few photos um, of the gorgeous animals that were in the park Well, and a selfie of me, some deer, um, elephants, birds and uh, you know all kinds of lovely creatures and nature. But now, let's go into my up-close footages, the cover printing, binding, paper and the software. And when I come back, I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about delivery, deals, price and pros and cons of the book, so stay with me. So this is how the book came packed, um, quite neat and tight. Let me open it. And then inside there's another plastic wrap. You take it out and there we go. So let's start with the size of the book. Now this one is 8.2 by 11.8 inches. A little bit strange, but that's the size. And this is the middle size. There is a smaller one, 8 by 8 inch. And there is a slightly bigger one, 12 by 11.5 inches. Let's continue on to the cover. Now we've got three options here. By default, the books come with a soft cover. For a surcharge, you can upgrade to a matte hardcover. And if you go for the premium upgrade, which I did, then you'll get this glossy hardcover. So let me show you how it looks. It has a very nice glare, very good colors as well. On the front, you have so many uh, templates to choose from and they all look really, really great. Now, I chose this one with one picture and the title in the bottom. You can obviously customize it any way you want to. On the spine, there is nothing, so you couldn't add any text to the spine. And on the back, I think there are some templates for the back as well, but there's a small barcode in the bottom, but there's no company logo, which is really good. So let's go on to the binding. The main book is connected through a double spread white sheet to the cover, on the front and on the back as well. Which is, you know, always nice. I don't like books which start right on the back of the front cover. So that's really nice. The book is a uh, perfect bound, as you might expect from an app book. That's how it opens. If you don't know what perfect bound means, it's basically glue stuck together and it doesn't open lay flat and at the moment there is no option to go for lay flat but if you look through the book uh, it opens actually quite flat you don't have to keep it open with your hands and uh, if you go for a little frame around the pictures nothing is going to get lost in the gutter but even if you don't like on this full bleed page there's so little that you can still see what's right there in the middle so um, and from that point of view it's really well bound because there's minimal loss uh, to the pictures. It pages through 
very nice. It doesn't give any crackling sounds. And I always say this because some of the Perfect Bound books can give these glitchy glue sound, which always worries me because it kind of um, signals that it won't last very long or it's going to fall apart. You know, it just doesn't sound good. But this one uh, seems perfect and it feels really nice and elegant. So that's all about the binding because as I said there is no leaflet option at the moment. I'm not sure if they are planning to introduce it in the near future but at the moment that's the only kind of binding you get. It's very nice, well done, sturdy and uh, does the purpose so there's nothing else to say about that. And now let's move on to the paper. Now here you've got uh, two options. Again, if you go for the standard, you're going to get 170 GSM acid-free satin paper stock. I haven't seen that one, but I assume it's extremely similar to the standard silk paper that you've seen in the other books that I reviewed. And if you go for the premium upgrade, which is so cheap to upgrade, then you're going to get this gloss 200 GSM acid-free paper stock. Now, it's not uh, high gloss like the ones you would expect from photographic papers but it has a much um, more noticeable sheen or, or glare than the, the silk paper. Actually in the camera and the light uh, it looks glossier but it's not as glossy as it looks there. Uh, let me show you a close-up of the texture of the paper. This is always a struggle with this camera, I don't know why. Now I'm extremely happy with the paper, given that it's a cheaper book, ad books are usually not the most expensive in the range, uh, it has a lovely satin smooth feel but at the same time it has quite a lot of gloss which is very handy when you want to give more contrast to your images, it brings out the blacks and the highlights a lot more than um, silk or matte paper. So um, just let me give you a few more pages here. So you can see the, the tones and the colours uh, always seem a little bit stronger and more defined on a glossy paper than on a matte paper. Let's move on to the printing very quickly. Uh, just like all the other books in the, in the industry in the same range, they use digital printers as well. I'm not entirely sure which ones, but I assume it's either the HP Indigo printers or something of a similar kind because I was extremely happy with the print quality. The colours look very accurate to what I uh, submitted and I didn't notice any problems with the highlights and the shadows, uh, no oversaturation problems. Uh, let me show you some, a few more pages from the beginning. Um, again you can see the greens are nicely balanced with the browns and it doesn't look too warm or too cold. Um, and again, uh, I'm going to probably post a picture here, but if you can see the texture, uh, you, can su you can see a subtle digital texture, but it's not so much and it's not so um, noticeable as with other books. I think it's mainly due to the fact that it's on a glossy paper, which is again hiding it uh, slightly. One thing left to talk about is the app. So Printastic has uh, um, a smartphone app which you can download onto your phone. Let me show you how it works. So that's the app that you need to click on, Printastic. And the app has uh, a lot of features which basically allow you to create magic books, which means that the app is going to separate your folders and holidays and events into separate books. And then uh, here are the other products as well that you can do, the canvases, photo prints, calendars, blah, blah, blah. Then you go to your photo books and here are the sizes, the A4 landscape, um, portrait, square and the giant book. You select the book and then here are some of the themes, uh, the styles that you can choose from. I think they look amazing and they are really stylish. So it's probably the best selection. Maybe free prints had a similar selection, but these two were the best ones that I've seen in the app books so far. And if you click on one of them and just select a few photos, let me select just a random few pictures. And then click done. And that's the book finished. So it automatically puts your pictures in and then you can add more pictures in the options. You can choose themes. 
which are the different colors. And then if you click on a page, here are the certain layouts that you can choose from. So quite a big selection. You can have text as well. You can add caption to the bottom of the page and then your frame around the photo is obviously going to be bigger. And then when you go on to order your book, then you have the option to select the hardcover, which is an extra seven pounds in this case. And then you can add an ebook version, back up your photos in the order, and also upgrade to premium cover and pages, the one which I was talking about for an extra 3.99. So it's so cheap to do the upgrade. I think it's really worth it. And then just wait for your book and that's it. All right, so the book came extremely quickly from the Netherlands with FedEx. However, I didn't get the book for more than two weeks because it was somewhere in Glasgow and FedEx was not competent enough to get it from the depot to my door. I have no idea what happened. I phoned several times and I had to rearrange delivery times. It's not Printastic's fault. It was the incompetence of FedEx. But anyway, delivery was really quick. It was only a few pounds and it was tracked so you can see where it is and when you're going to get it. Um, the full price of the book is £29.99. Uh, I opted for the upgrade which includes the, the glossy cover and the, the thicker glossy pages and that was only 3 99 for the whole book so I think it's really worth it. The final price was uh, 33 98 pounds I think. So it's a really great price for the quality that you get. Printastic regularly offers deals to its customers. You can either get emails, sometimes the app comes up with certain voucher codes and discounts but if you can't see any of those, then I have one for you. If you use the code PPGURU25, PhotoBookGuru, then you're going to get 25% off your final order value. The things that I liked most about was the creativity. Uh, I always say that some of these app smartphone books are so limited with what you can do. Think about the Xeno Timeline book. There's almost no editability in the final book when you choose your images. Now with Printastic, they have so many themes. Uh, so many different layouts for the cover and they all look really stylish. You can do anything you want with the photos. You can have full bleed, you can have six, uh, seven photos, you can have captions, you can have a full page text if you want, you can move around the pictures. Uh, so it's, it gives you quite a free hand with what you can do. Apart from that, I was extremely happy with the print quality. The colors look so nice and uh, I could see very little digital artifacts from the printing process and also the shadows and highlights were very pretty. I like the fact that they give you an upgrade option for the paper and the cover. Some people don't mind paying a bit of extra so why not let them uh, have a slightly better option than you know the standard. Uh, I really love the glossy 200 GSM paper, it has a lovely feel and a nice glare which gives you much better tones, uh, shadows and highlights than a more matte paper or silk paper. The one thing that I was missing is the spine text. If you have a hardcover book, and especially with these ones, you can go up to 200 pages, uh, why would you not allow us to put a little title, especially if you want customers to have 15-20 of your books and when they put them on the shelf, it looks a bit silly because it's all white how on earth are you supposed to know which one to take off the shelf so I think allowing you to put a spine text would be um, a good option uh, also as I mentioned at the moment there is no lay flat um, option to choose hopefully in the near future more and more companies even the cheaper ones and the app photo book companies are offering now a lay flat option because people love it and if they wanted to you know uh, improve on one thing if they added the silver highlight option then I think this would indeed be the very best smartphone photo book app in the world because the creativity is there the quality is there and now all you need is a few pro features like silver highlight and lay flat and then you've got everything you need for a a smartphone uh, 21st century pro book. If you want to see more pictures from my recent trip to Sri Lanka, Vietnam and Hong Kong, follow me on Instagram, guy around the world. Uh, I also started posting um, travel vlog videos onto my channel so don't be surprised if you see some non photo book related videos but I think the two kind of work well together because all my pictures are from travels. If you have any more questions about the book leave them in the comments box or send me an email use the contact form on my um, blog or on YouTube and thank you for watching as always subscribe for more.